What is up everyone, welcome back to another game of Call of War, this will be episode 4. If you haven't already, check out the previous episodes leading up to this one. So, you stay informed of the series. This will be my last episode tonight, until tomorrow, around the same time as the first episode. Army lost, province captured, so he is putting up a fight. I lost some armies. Oh, I lost my air defenses. Like my air capability. But that is a minor loss. He knows what I'm doing now. So he's withdrawing all his forces. If I'm not mistaken. He should be withdrawing all of them. I would. Back to here and defend the major cities. But, I don't know how he's going to play that out. All he knows is he has infantry storming at him. I'll just buy that real quick. I'm not one big into pay to win, but if it's something very small like that, you're going to see me buy it. Now I'm not going to go out and rush things that I don't need to, obviously. But, like 20 minutes for these left. And we are looking decent on everything else on, on this front. I'm kind of really starting to like these though. And how this is starting to look. I hope he's not expecting this massive attack into his capital. What time does that do? How long? Seven hours? How long? Because I want the highest level possible of infantry by the time they attack. And I will have that. I will have it. And will I have it? Wait, was that just one infantry? Nope, that's two divisions. Two divisions and one anti-air. I probably could leave it back. Leave the anti-air back to defend, but... Nah, full front. But I'm really starting to like the looks of this and how it is going and playing out. Now, of course, once this mechanized infantry is done, I'm going to hit up the medium tank research tree. Then I'm going to go to air so I can be able to get interceptors and it compete with other people's naval power as well by researching these. Now, you'll see, I'm not big into Navy and everything, but eventually I will stress it once I try to defeat as many land threats right here. Like once Finland's gone and I can defend these two or three major land accesses from Russia, or whatever this is called. And nine times out of ten, everyone you see here, like, three will be left. And the real aggressive ones are the first to be destroyed. Usually. Not always. Usually. America's having a lot of aggressive people. He got cut off in the looks of it. But this guy is getting aggressive. Down here, aggressive. Finland's being aggressive. I'm more of a passive, I guess. Or I try to be passive. But the moment someone declares war on me, I go all out. I'm talking like full on. Like this. Boom, here's all my armies. There you go. And I just blitzkrieg them. Now I will have to start upgrading my food productions in different places like this, like doing this, I'm going to be getting building that to increase my economy there. And I don't know where else really I have much food, like major food production. I know it's somewhere for me to have a pause right here, this would be a good one to increase, if I still have the budget. Which I do. Boom. There we go. That should about increase it by 50% or so. 
these I'm going to really need to spam because it I only get fraction production from them. Still production. Alrighty, and with that, I'm going to end this episode. Tune in tomorrow. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get five likes on this video and 100 subscribers by the end of the year. If we hit that, I will be doing a giveaway. Peace.